Fear is the number one killer of dreams. And how do I know this? I've consulted and worked with more people than I can count, and fear is easily the number one reason holding people back from starting their side hustle or Amazon business. Fear of failure, fear of making mistakes, fear of uncertainty, fear of losing money, and a host of other reasons. What's the reason that's holding you back? I'm gonna cover the top five reasons in this video and how you can overcome them and finally take your first steps to achieve financial freedom. So let's start with fear. I wanna be honest with you. I've started many businesses in the last 20 to 25 years and not all of them have been successful. And I can tell you that that feeling of fear never goes away. But what I can tell you is that it's manageable. Just like any other emotion, once you've experienced it, you can manage it. Starting a new business can be daunting and it's natural to feel fear and uncertainty. Fear of failure, fear of the unknown, and fear of taking risks are common reasons why people hesitate to start a new Amazon business. However, it's important to remember that fear is just an emotion and it shouldn't hold you back from pursuing your dreams. And in my opinion, the biggest reason people experience fear is due to the lack of knowledge. And I can attest to that. From my own experience, the more I don't understand something, the greater the fear I experience. And fear manifests into lack of action. And do you know what else I fear? I'm afraid that you won't smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm. By clicking that little thumb, it lets YouTube know that you found value in this video and show it to more people just like you. And I would really appreciate it. So thank you. And with that said, to help you overcome the fear of starting a new Amazon business, educate yourself. One of the best ways to overcome fear is to educate yourself about the business. Research the Amazon marketplace and how it works. Learn about the strategies and tactics that successful Amazon sellers use, as well as the common pitfalls and hurdles that you can expect to encounter. By getting an overview of the entire process of selling on Amazon from A to Z, you can get a better understanding and clarity of what to expect and help you feel more confident in your abilities and take action. And this is where I'm actually pretty jealous. There's endless resources available to anyone nowadays for you to learn about practically anything your heart desires. And what's also helped me through my fears is finding a mentor and surrounding yourself with other like-minded people. Having a mentor can be incredibly helpful when starting a new business. You can learn from an expert who has experience in the Amazon marketplace and ask for advice. A mentor can provide you with valuable insights and help you avoid common mistakes and streamline your growth. For example, my name is Crescent and I personally coach, mentor, and consult with people looking to start or grow their Amazon business and help them scale their business to profitability quickly. So if you wanna connect with me, as well as surround yourself with other like-minded sellers, join my Amazon Facebook group. It's one of the largest with over 30,000 members. You can find a link in the description below. Now, a common misconception that prevents people from starting their Amazon business is they think they need to have a registered business and trademark in order to sell on Amazon. Well, let me tell you right up front that you don't need either of them. You can start selling on Amazon even if you don't have a registered business or trademark, and pretty much anyone can sell from anywhere in the world at any one of Amazon's marketplaces. You can start selling as an individual and you can always update your seller account details if you decide to register a business or trademark in the future. The process is relatively pain-free as long as you follow Amazon's guidelines and requirements. And speaking of Amazon businesses, I know there are a ton of people out there looking to buy or sell their Amazon business. If you're one of these people, there's a new startup I want to introduce to you. Boost is a business acquisition private market that specializes in buying and selling e-commerce businesses like Shopify and Amazon accounts and traditional businesses. Right now, there's a little bit of a trend going on where people are buying profitable businesses and becoming business owners. One thing that I just really like about Boost is that they've made the entire process extremely easy. In fact, you can connect your business account in just three minutes and get a business valuation for free. When you're ready to sell, Boost will create an anonymized snapshot and put your business up for sale in their private marketplace. So to get a free business valuation, a 30 minute call with an e-commerce acquisition expert and a one month free trial on Boost's platform, use my promo code KOVIP. I'll also leave a link along with more information down in the video description below. Whether you're looking to buy or sell your Amazon seller account, don't waste any more time. Contact Boost today to get started. Now, how many of you have a job or a career? Or how many of you are going to school, have a family or have responsibilities? 
I understand life is busy and hectic for pretty much everyone on this planet, and this often becomes an excuse for not getting started. Not having enough time. While it's true that our lives can be busy and overwhelming at times, the reality is that most of us have far more free time than we realize. Watching this video, for example. I'm not saying that you should stop watching my content. Definitely keep watching and smash those like buttons. But ask yourself how much time you're spending each day consuming content. Scrolling through Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok, or watching Netflix. Setting aside just 15 to 30 minutes every single day to build your side hustle can be life-changing. Look, making the excuse of not having enough time really boils down to four key factors. Prioritization. It's important to make time for the things that matter. If starting a side hustle is important to you, make it a priority to set aside time each day or week to work on it. Reevaluate how you spend your free time and find ways to make your side hustle a priority. Time management. You can also learn to manage your time better. For example, you can use tools like calendars, timers, and productivity apps to help you stay on track and make the most of your time. Start small. It's not necessary to devote hours a day to building your side hustle. Starting small and building up over time can be a great way to get started. Even just dedicating 30 minutes a day to building your Amazon business can make a significant difference in the long run. And self-discipline. One of my favorite quotes from Mark Cuban is, the only thing you can control in life is your own effort. If you're serious about making a change in your life and building a successful Amazon business, it's important to be disciplined and motivated. By setting clear goals and being accountable to yourself, you can stay focused and committed, even when you feel like you don't have enough time. Making a change in your life takes effort, and no one is gonna do it for you. Now, along those same lines as not having enough time, another common excuse people give for not pursuing their Amazon business is not having enough money. While it's true that starting any business requires some capital, the cost of starting an Amazon business can vary depending on your approach and the products you choose to sell, and can be far less than you assume. Although it's not common, people have started their Amazon business with as little as $500 to $1,000. And from my experience, the average startup costs are extremely low. Compared to traditional brick and mortar businesses, such as a coffee shop or retail store, which can cost hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars to get off the ground, in my experience, Anyone can start an Amazon business for around two to $3,000. That's why selling on Amazon is so attractive to new entrepreneurs. Selling on Amazon doesn't require a large investment upfront. The amount required is actually really flexible and entirely depends on the products you choose to sell and how you choose to sell them. You can source products cheaply from manufacturers or wholesalers and negotiate a favorable rate to keep your costs down. And if you take advantage of Amazon's FBA service, which stands for Fulfillment by Amazon, Amazon will actually store all of your inventory, pick, pack, and ship your products for you, as well as handle all of the customer service, all for a very small fee. Furthermore, an Amazon business is also easily scalable. It can be scaled up as your profits increase. You can start with a relatively small investment of inventory and gradually increase it as you start making more sales and build up your cash flow. And finally, the most common reason that comes up literally every single year, and I'm sure you've already heard it too, and that reason is that it's too late to start selling on Amazon. That Amazon is way too saturated. And let me tell you, this can't be farther from the truth. The people that perpetuate this misinformation are speaking out of ignorance. Look, the numbers don't lie. Let's take a look at some data. Right now, there are over 350 million products available for sale in the Amazon marketplace. And according to the latest statistics, there are over 300 million active buyers worldwide with over 200 million of them being Amazon Prime members. In fact, over 172 million Prime members are in the US alone. 172 million. That 60% of the US population has an Amazon Prime account. And in contrast, there are 9.7 million Amazon sellers globally. However, only 1.9 million of them are actively selling on the platform. Now, that might sound like a lot, but that means over 80% of Amazon sellers don't actually sell anything. They've never even listed a single product to sell. And if we take a closer look at the numbers, there's over a 150 to one ratio of buyers to sellers. That means 
for every new seller that joins the platform that actually lists something to sell, there are over 150 Amazon Prime members. 150 to one. And that gap is only getting bigger every single year. So let me ask you, do you still think Amazon is saturated? If you ask any successful Amazon seller, myself included, their only regret is that they didn't start sooner. And again, if you're looking to buy or sell your Amazon business and get a free valuation, give Boost a shout. There's a link down in the description below. And if you wanna learn more about selling on Amazon and connect with me, join my Amazon Facebook group. Over 30,000 other people already have. There's a link right over here.